One other narrative that I think has taken hold a little bit more in the public eye has been crime. Uh, and we've seen crime wave, smash and grab is what a lot of people are calling it. Uh, it's almost all in areas that are run by uh, uh, Democrats, blue, blue politicians. And I think one thing that might be a watershed moment is the killing of this woman named Jacqueline Avant, uh, the uh, a wife of music legend Clarence Avant. And this is one of these things where it, people are starting to realize this is not some sort of thing that comes from Donald Trump or something, that it really is an erosion in our cities. Uh, are, you, are you picking up on this? Do you see the media reacting to it and starting to maybe a little bit discuss that this could be the result of some bad policies? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, look, I was watching uh, Morning Joe the other day. I do watch Morning Joe. I know you do. I, listen, I like to see, I I like to see what the other, guy, the other guys you are saying. You pop up on CNN so I, sometimes. Listen, every now and again, I might. Every so I was listening to them have this discussion, and they're talking down this whole defund the yeah. police yeah. Uh, mantra. And look, the reality is, if you don't have strong policing in communities, you cannot maintain public safety. If you can't maintain public safety, you can't have a, an, an, a community that thrives or an economy that thrives. This is not hard stuff. It's really simple. The problem for the political left is, is that they wanted to accomplish their agenda above what was actually going to work for the people. And it has blown up not just in their faces, but everybody's face. And it's not good for our country. It's not good for our societies. It's not good for our cities. It's not good for families. Yeah, it's not good for families. And the media is so responsible for it. But it, the, the defund the police narrative really does seem to have gone away. It just people are not talking about it that much anymore. Oh, that's because the polling came back. <laughs> and they realized that it doesn't poll well. Yeah. So now they're pivoting to something else. Yeah. But look, at the end of the day, what we need Democrat politicians to do is let's stop worrying about what the polls say. Do the things that are right for our communities and our cities. Give parents the ability to purchase education for their kids. Make sure you have strong police officers that keep communities safe. Let's not, let's not be more burdensome to small businesses who are trying to get back. And from a federal level, let's stop giving people money for no reason that they have not earned, but we're just giving it to them, as opposed to let, making sure they have the opportunity to go earn it for themselves. That's how our economy works. We've already seen the other way, and it's been a disaster for our country.